Hey guys, this is Kim from Dodges and Daisies, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing another 10 supply journaling challenge where I only take 10 supplies to make my journal layouts. In our last video, um, we did a pre-made journal, and this was so we could go out for the day. I took you guys vlogging to downtown Greenville, a city uh, close to where I live, and it was just a lot of fun to have that pre-made journal because we could just journal in the moment and take it with us and not have to worry about creating, but just kind of have time to just feel free to write and record memories in the moment. But today I'd like to do a different kind of video, also journaling while out, but this time without a pre-made journal where we actually bring our supplies with us. So I will be using something called a class. It is a carrier from a company called Studio Absent or Absent Studio. I've seen them uh, say it both ways, but it's basically a carrying case for craft supplies. And if you are a creative journaler, a scrapbooker, a snail mailer, and you are somebody that likes to, you know, journal or send mail while you're out or if you're going on a trip, these carriers from Studio Absent are absolutely amazing because, like I said, they are specifically designed for crafting. Uh, the class is their medium carrier. I also have um, something called a bow, which is a bigger carrier. It's kind of like a mini suitcase. And their tofu, which is a tiny little carrier that you can kind of clip on your purse, and it's great for storing small stickers and washi. Um, today I wanted a medium journaling experience. We were going about 20 minutes away and I did want to bring my journal with me, but I didn't have a pre-made journal this time. So I used the class carrier to pack up my 10 journaling supplies. As you can see, um, we have just a bunch of supplies that I pre-chose like I normally do with the 10 supply challenge. These are again from Album Love Handmade. I absolutely love her printables, stickers, um, everything she does. These are vintage ephemera uh, photographs that I cut out of a book. As you saw me put in before, we also have the labels, the vintage stamps, and uh, vintage they're kind of like mini postcards, um, really fun to journal with. Right now, these are vintage botanicals, again, from that book that we've been using, The Complete Book of the Garden by Reader's Digest. This book is such a treasure trove. I have just been getting so much use out of every page. They really just have such beautiful illustrations and so many of them. I also chose, instead of figure drawings uh, this time, some vintage bird cutouts. I used to use vintage bird cutouts all the time, and it's been a little bit since I've used them, so I chose to bring those instead of the figures today as our main focal point. Um, as you can see with the Studio Absent Carriers, there's a lot of different pocket options to store small ephemera, big ephemera, um, washi tape, as you can see I'm sticking it in the front pouch. Uh, you'll also see me packing up pens and pencils that I'm bringing with me. Um, sometimes I like to just bring a variety of different writing utensils because, you know, you never know kind of what's going to work easiest. But there's just a lot of different kinds of pockets and places to stick crafting supplies with the Studio Absent line. And I absolutely love it. So I was packing up our little class and we are headed to the city of Landrum, South Carolina, which is about uh, 20 minutes from us. And there was a covered bridge that I wanted to see. So that is where we were headed to. And um, yeah, it everything fits really well, as you guys can see. I am bringing my large 2022 journal that I've been working in mostly on this channel. And um, even though it's big and chunky and really full now, I still wanted to to bring that with me and use it. So um, we are definitely coffee addicts <laughs> and Jake was gifted for his birthday some just really beautiful coffee supplies uh, that have helped us in our um, 
coffee snobbery, I'll call it, but really it's just an appreciation for good coffee. Um, It's just one of the simple pleasures of life that I absolutely love. I find it to be a very mindful and very huga experience um, with all of the food allergies I have and all of the restrictions that I have on my diet. Coffee is something that I can enjoy and it really is a mindful practice. I love to just kind of sit and sip it and just not really think of anything else. So I packed a picnic basket of sorts with the crafting supplies and um, that's one of my grandmother's antique, um, I don't know what to call it, I guess maybe like a table runner, but just love it and we packed our little bag and off we went to the covered bridge. I had never been before. Um, I've always been a fan of covered bridges, and this one was just so adorable. So here you can see that we are walking down to a stream that was right by it, and uh, it was just a really peaceful afternoon. I'm kind of just in love with anything vintage or historic. And yeah, this was just a really peaceful place. The beginning of the day was a stressful one. Um, I had to go into the hospital for a couple of hours for an echocardiogram and also to be set up with a heart monitor for the week. So, um, hospitals are not my happy place, doctors are not my happy place, and to also have a heart monitor that I have to wear for a week was a bit of a stressful and sad thing for me. Um, So we decided to take the rest of the afternoon and just relax, just kind of take everything that had made me sad or stressed about the day earlier and just get outside and just be really mindful and peaceful and that is one reason why I do love journaling outside or journaling on location and not always journaling in the house. Um, I personally find nature and the outdoors to be the most peaceful place. Um, Whenever I'm dealing with anxiety there is nothing like the outdoors to me. I love to be in nature, I love to be around water, I love to be in the woods, and um, yeah, it's combining that with journaling, which is also just a really mindful and helpful experience when it comes to days of high stress or anxiety to me. Um, I just really feel like you can get lost in the moment if you bring your journal outside with you. So being in nature and being in a really beautiful historic place and also journaling and just kind of being able to lose myself in those moments, really be mindful and really concentrate was just extremely helpful anxiety wise and honestly helped me to forget for a little while the experience at the hospital and the experience with the heart monitor. Um, As always though, I use my journals to record the good and the bad And I find it just really helpful to get out negative emotions as well as positive ones. It's just a way for me to release them. But yeah, it was just a way to kind of get out the bad and take in the good. We went for a hike after the covered bridge. Um, I have not had energy to hike in a very, very long time. And there's really nothing that makes me happier than nature and discovering plants. Um, So to be out in nature and to be hiking and to be looking at wildlife was really wonderful. It was um, a time that I could just kind of forget. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me and I hope you enjoyed this journal with me.